Hey, what is going on guys? Computer Surgeon here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how we can clear the cache on your Mac. Now, if you don't know what a cache is, it is basically a way of storing small files that may contain data that will kind of improve uh, the time that it is grabbed from a server or somewhere like your uh, PC or Mac to make it load a little bit faster and reduce latency. So, for instance, let's say you go to some website in a browser. It may cache that data so it can grab the information quicker next time you go to it rather than having everything to load. Now this is very effective when it comes to things like images. Facebook does uh, cache some of their images um, on their website so next time you go it doesn't take as long to pull that data from their server. So these files do actually accumulate a lot over time and when you remove or uninstall a program from your Mac it actually doesn't go away the cache file just in case you end up using it again. So we're going to go ahead and check out how to remove those today. So if you're a big fan of shortcuts, make sure you are on your desktop and hit Command Shift G to go uh, to the Go To folder. Or if you're not really into uh, these types of um, shortcuts, you can just go to the main menu and go to Go and go to Go To folder. And we are going to type in the following uh, path. We are going to type in a tilde with a backslash, and we are going to type in library. And you'll see that this come up right here. And we are going to go ahead and click on the caches folder. Or you can just go to, um, if you go to uh, the go to folder again, we can just type in library backslash uh, caches to make it a little bit easier. You'll see that there are a bunch of different types of files in here, and they range from anything from you know the operating system itself to programs you may have downloaded in the past. And it does have like a, a GitHub. You know there is one for uh, pretty much every browser on here. So we are going to go ahead and just select all of these with Command A, and we are just going to move these to the trash, and we are going to delete those. So. We have one more thing to clear, and I don't know why they did it this way, but you can go ahead, and if you have your devices on the left-hand side here, click on the hard drive name. Mine is Macintosh HD. Typically, yours will be the same if, unless you've changed it, if you've had to partition your drive or something like that, or if you've messed around with disk utility before. So go ahead and click on Macintosh HD. If you don't see it, you can go to the Finder section and go to Preferences. And under Finder Preferences, you can make sure that under uh, Devices, Hard Disks is selected. See, if we uh, uncheck this, it goes away. If we check it, it's going to go away. And I'm just going to remove that really quick in external drives and CDs. So if you click on Macintosh HD and go into Library and go into Caches up here, you'll see that there are still files in here. I don't know why they did it this way, but if you if we take a look at, if we go back to go to Finder really quick and we keep this path, there is nothing in this folder with caches, but there is in here and it's the same path. So I'm not sure exactly you know what they did with that, but you can go ahead and delete these also. These folders with the uh, like the do not enter sign on there, you just can't open these because you don't have the permissions. So you guys can just go ahead and uh, delete those as well. It's probably going to have you uh, enter your password because it's not going to let you delete those files with the uh, the red on it, but you can, oops enter the wrong password you can go ahead and just delete those also and that's how you clear the cache you know you will see um, a bit of improvement as far as you know speed goes these are going to accumulate over time as you continue to use your Mac uh, but you can always go ahead and delete these if you feel the need to but that is about it for this video guys really cut and simple cut and dry uh, so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe leave a comment in the section below on some future videos you want to see from me it can be anything related to, to technology and I will try to get that to you guys as soon as possible. So peace out and thanks for watching.